morning. Today is Friday and I'm spending the day working. I've got the dishwasher running in the back so I hope that isn't too loud. But I'm taking a short break right now just to say hello because I realized I haven't vlogged at all today. So it is about noon. Okay, my watch is completely shot. I think yesterday when I was putting up the shelf, some of the dust got into the cracks on my watch and it will just not come out now. This watch is so old and I love wearing watches, so I'm gonna have to retire it, I think. But anyway, I wanted to film this because I had to tell you about something so embarrassing that happened. If you like embarrassing stories, just like buckle in. It's not like the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me, but it was like pretty humiliating. Um, so this morning I realized I probably needed to wash my hair. So got in the shower, washed my hair. And whenever I wash my hair, I don't wash my hair every day, not even every other day, maybe like every three or four days probably, which you might notice on some days in Vlogmas, my hair looks rough. <laughs> and that's just life, you know, I'm not gonna wash my hair every day for Vlogmas, but usually when I film my main channel videos, I have fresh to semi-fresh hair. Anyway, <laughs> so I didn't feel like doing the whole blowing out my bangs thing because I have to blow out my bangs with a blow dryer. I use like a diffuser because my hair is naturally pretty wavy when it's short. So since my bangs are so short, they turn into like curly, a curly mess. So I had my hair in a towel after the shower and I just didn't want to blow dry it yet. And I had sat on the couch working for probably like an hour and a half. And then there's a knock on the door. So I'm like, okay, if it's nothing important then I'm just gonna let it ring. Like I'm just not gonna answer it. And I look out the window and see that it's my landlord and I remembered that he was gonna come by to check on our heater because update, the heater is actually broken. We got the gas company to come out and turn on the line and he couldn't actually leave it on because there's a gas leak or something is wrong. So he came, my landlord came to check it out. Anyway, so I had to decide within like 10 seconds if I was going to take my hair out of the towel and it would look like an absolute mess or if I would just answer the door with my hair in a towel. And I'm wearing these ridiculous slippers and like pajama pants and nothing that I'm wearing makes sense. You know, like what? These are my husband's like ridiculous slippers because I don't have any. And so I answered the door, I'm just humiliated and he's he obviously looked uncomfortable because I feel like he thought that I didn't know he was coming, which was true. Ugh. So anyway, he just asked me to turn on the heat so he could go check on it. And then in that moment, I was like, oh my God, do I do my hair and like make it obvious that he knew that I was embarrassed or do I leave it in the towel? But then I, my towel, my hair would be in the towel for that much longer. And like, it was already so far past the point where it was normal to have my hair in a towel. Anyway, all this to say, my landlord saw me with my hair in a towel and mascara all down my face. <laughs> Incredible. I love my life. <laughs> so anyway, so since today is Friday, we might go see a movie or we might watch something at home. Daniel and I are watching Star Wars. This is my first time watching it through, like intentionally. And we just got to the movie, I think it's the fourth movie that came out, like, I don't know the actual name of this one. It's the first movie that Natalie Portman is in. But I wanted to go around and show you really quickly while my camera is still alive. The battery light is flashing so it might die but I wanted to show you what I've done in my house like decoration wise in the last couple of days I didn't really show that because I was worried that yesterday's video would be too long so I'm gonna show you so this is the shelf and I this is not like a permanent decoration thing I just put stuff on it so that it wouldn't be an empty shelf but I really really like it Daniel came in and said that it's crooked but I personally don't think it is I don't know, is it is it crooked to you? I don't know, but that just looks really good. Like, I love this vibe. I have here a, this was actually thrifted and it's from Crate and Barrel originally. It was $4 and it is a stocking holder. And if I could find two more just like this one, I would just be living my best life because I think that is so cute. I might also try to just like recreate it with clay. I'm not sure, I feel like it would be pretty easy to recreate with clay, but this one's metal. And I got it from a thrift store for $4. And then, with my tree clippings, I just made like a bunch of little, 
I think these are called swags. And I just laid them upon this uh, shelf. And I actually made a lot of these things and connected them to make a garland on my table. So I'll show you that in a second. These are battery operated lights that we used at my wedding actually. And I have so many of them left over from that and they're perfect for Christmas. So this is my Christmas table. I made this garland out of clippings from my tree. And so I set up my table like this because my grandma and my sister came over for dinner a couple days ago on Wednesday night. And yeah, so I put, <laughs> so I used these tiny sherry glasses as tea light holders, which was really funny. It worked out really well actually. So if you have something like that or you see them at a thrift store, it, it'll work, it's really cute. And I also put a battery operated light thing on here so that's what it looks like when it has the lights it's really nice and then just sort of haphazardly hung up some string lights right here they kind of serve no purpose but I don't know I guess it's extra ambient light I don't know why they're flickering they're not flickering in real life <laughs> and then of course the tree is always lit in my house and I really need to check on the water level in there. It's looking pretty low because Leo has been drinking it. Oh my gosh. Also for our tree skirt, I just put down this blanket that I actually got as a gift a couple years ago from a friend. And during the year, I use it as a blanket. And then around Christmas time, I just use it as a tree skirt. So I love items that function as multiple things because again, I just don't have that much space to hold things. So this is great. It usually looks a little bit better. We kind of messed it up when we were decorating the tree, but this is what it looks like when it's down. So it's not like a perfect tree skirt, but it works for me. I don't mind it. I think it looks nice, especially when I lay it out flat, but it just gets messed up a lot. And that is basically all of the Christmas decor. Um, oh wait, actually there is this. I showed it on my Instagram stories, but I haven't shown it on YouTube. This is a, like, okay, it's all out of sorts right now. I feel like I should put like a dab of glue between them so that they can't move. This is a little hand stitching project that I made and they're just meant to be little lights. So they look like close up. It is just some blanket stitches. If you follow my tutorial, on the felt plushies, you can definitely make these on your own. I didn't make these in that tutorial sequence, but you could use the same techniques that I used and make your own. So anyway, that's really cute. That's one of my favorite decorations this year. One last thing that I have done so far. As we know, this Euphorbia is just massive. And I thought it would be fun to, ouch, yikes, that hurt. And I thought it would be fun to make it a tree and I'll show you what that looks like <laughs> at night, but the lights are on right now. Obviously it's bright outside so you can't really see and there's so much traffic. <sighs> oh, and one last thing. This is the poinsettia that I got with Ash the other day and you can, you can see just a little bit better what it looks like. It's very, very red and it reminds me a lot of a hydrangea because the, the flowers are just so round and the leaves look like hydrangea leaves too. So anyway, really, really cute. I would love to keep this alive all year, but I'm not sure if I will have the space. We'll see, but it is very beautiful for Christmas. I usually put my wallet here. You got this down to a science. Yes, I do. <laughs> you have stuff in your teeth. Uh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just sitting on top of my tooth. Thank you, babe. <laughs> so we are currently on the way to Daniel's cousin's house because we are babysitting. Woo! <laughs> it's gonna be a blast. Um, Daniel's cousin just moved to Tucson, which was amazing that that happened because now we have family here on Daniel's side because my family lives here, obviously. Uh, my parents and my sister. <sighs> So now we have more family. Wait, wait, is she your niece? No, no, she's like your second cousin because she's your cousin's kid. So she's your second cousin. Have you ever heard of that? Like second cousin and then second cousin like twice removed. 
like all that stuff. I think that Kennedy is your cousin. I thought you should Google this before I like, jump to conclusions. No, no, I think that's true. Oh my goodness, thank you. Let me see it. Let me see it. Ready? Ready? Go get it. Yeah. If they're gonna move, spiders uh, sometimes will eat their webs for the uh, like uh, nutrients. <laughs> Give it to me. I'll throw, yeah, I'll throw it out here. Come on, Leo. Come on, Leo. Throw it. Yeah. <laughs> What is that? It's a baby. That's a baby. That's a baby. It's my fi oh, it's my favorite picture. It's the best. That's the best picture I can draw. Oh. Kennedy, he draws that all the time. That's my my signature picture. But he doesn't like stuff put in his hair. <laughs> he looks like a pretty good prince to me. Yeah, he looks really good. Take that thing out of his hair. He's real. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it Leo, your crown. Out. Your crown's gone. Well, it's gonna go back on Danny. Put it on Daniel. Oh. Put it on you, Daniel. I'm putting it on. You, you're the prince. The and, 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 the, and, the, and the, the queen is looking for her prince. Looking for a prince, I'm right here. Oh. Well, howdy, ma'am. Well, I have a crown on. Okay. 